Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back, Star Family. Uh, this reading is a little random, I guess. It's definitely outside of my normal schedule as far as the way I put out readings. Um, but Spirit was kind of, I guess, pushing me to do a reading. I don't know, it feels like somebody needs this, so I'm just going to trust what I feel and deliver the message that comes through. Um, I will say the feeling that I was picking up from the urgency of, I guess, the need to put this out there, um, was conflict. Okay, so I don't know if that's a conflict within oneself that somebody may be feeling and that's why Spirit wants me to put this out. Um, or if it's a conflict with another. Or a conflict with a place or a thing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But there's some kind of internal or maybe external conflict that I was picking up on in regards to putting this out there. Okay? And it felt like somebody needed to hear a message in regards to a struggle or a conflict that they're experiencing at this time. We all face certain conflicts or challenges within our journey. They could present themselves internally, right? We could be fighting with ourselves and we could also be fighting with things happening around us, whether it's our job, whether it's our lifestyle, whether it's a place we're at, a job, did I say job? <laughs> a job we don't like. Um, there's so many different things that we can feel a conflict with right so I have no idea in regards to what type of internal versus or external conflict there may be so I'm just gonna again go ahead and do this reading because that's what I I was led to do so let's see what the message is here what what is the message that wow okay that spirit well I didn't even get a chance to shuffle <laughs> We have the Justice and the Five of Cups, okay, that presented itself uh, face forward or face up. So let's see, what else is it that Spirit needs us to know about this? Let's see. Now, I, I was prompted to do this. I don't know if this is going to be a normal thing that, you know, I don't know if this is going to happen again, if... If I will be prompted to do a reading like this again, okay, but I, I guess I, I'm just trying to listen and be obedient in that sense. Um, so here we go. What else does Spirit need you to know about this? We see the conflicting energy here with the Five of Cups, by the way. Um, and I think I already know what this is saying, but... Let's see. One more card. At least one more card. Wow. <laughs> okay. Look at that. That's beautiful. So what this was telling me with these two cards is that there's a choice that somebody's conflicted about or there's an external problem that maybe has not resolved itself that you're concerned about or you're battling with or struggling with, right? And there maybe is a loss involved or the fear of a potential loss. But we have the Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands is saying that this is going to have a successful conclusion. So if there is a choice that somebody is conflicted with, if there is a maybe legal matter, divorce, I mean, on a practical, literal level, oftentimes that's what the justice can speak about. If there's a decision, whatever the logistics are in that, Spirit is saying that this is going to resolve itself. And right now, you may be worried about how it's all going to look when all is said and done. Five of Cups can speak of the shouldas, the couldas, the wouldas, all the ways that we doubt ourselves, the feelings of uncertainty that pop up in regards to the things that sometimes with the justice are outside of our control or out of our hands, right? It's the fear of the what if sometimes that can make us feel like we're missing out on something or that we might lose something. And I apologize if you hear my dog. <laughs> I have my door closed, but she is, um, she talks to herself. Okay, she's very vocal. So I don't know if you can hear that. I know I can hear it, but I'm just saying, I got to point it out in case you do. Um, she's a sweet girl though, but she talks a lot. Um, anyhow, what this was saying is that 
what I was saying was that the justice energy, sometimes it can feel like things are outside of our control and sometimes it is up to sometimes a third party to maybe decide something on our behalf and that can f make us feel like things are out of control and we can feel a sense of loss and bewilderment, right, with the Five of Cups while that is undecided or n no resolution has been found. But we have the Four of Wands here stating that there is a successful outcome on the other side. And you may be feeling the internal or external conflict in regards to that situation, but Spirit wants you to know that it's going to be okay. And you will succeed. You will have your achievement, right? You you are stable because it's number four. You are stable through this. And as these things get resolved and or decided and worked out, you are safe. Even if the emotional roller coaster might kick in with the five of cups to make you think otherwise. Um, sometimes we fall into the feeling of like, shoulda, coulda, woulda, or maybe I wish I would have did that. Or maybe I should have did this. Maybe that would have helped the situation along. Uh, did I make the right choice? Is this all going to work out for me? You know, that is a five of cups energy. And that is really focusing on the spilled milk, right? When we do have two cups that are still standing. Um, two cups, the two cups or number two speaks of union, balance, harmony, partnership, alignment. So again, these things are aligning to work out for you. And we also have the 1111. Okay, of the four of wands. So for some of you, this conflict could be with someone. Um, maybe you're worried about a relationship working out. Maybe there's some sadness, loss, and sorrow and conflict in regards to a relationship. Maybe there's some, I don't know why I got like power struggles. That's weird. Power struggles from the Justice and the Five of Cups together. That's not something I normally get <laughs> with those two cards. Um, I don't know if there's like a, a power struggle or a mirroring that you guys are going through right now, a chapter in your journey, and it's making you feel like, you know, is this going to work out? Is Are we going to be able to like get past this? I feel with the Four of Wands, there is a successful conclusion to this. Uh, it feels like a united front when all is said and done. And that united front and or stable foundation after this gets resolved is universal in regards to whatever the scenario of this conflict uh, or indecision or lack of resolution so far. Like it, it feels like there's a solid foundation on the other side of it. It all gets resolved in your favor, not to worry, not to stress, to try to focus on the positive. Again, there are two cups still standing in the five of cups card. Oftentimes we neglect that aspect of you know, the positive, let's focus on the positive. Let's not worry about the things that we can't control right now. Let's focus on the things that that um, we do have a say in. And it's a matter of shifting your energy, maybe shifting your vibration, shifting your perspective to focus on the positive. Let's not worry about the things we can't control for now is the message here also. Let's not focus on the things that we feel up in the air about because those things spirit is saying here will resolve themselves in the right time, in the right way for everybody's satisfaction, for the highest good of, of, a, of a scenario because the justice always does right by any situation. So it will be made right is the message here also. The spirit wants to get across to anybody worried about something, struggling with somebody or something and feeling conflict in that or feeling at a loss or not knowing. Sometimes we can feel like we just don't know. But justice energy always rights the wrongs. It always sets things right brings it back into balance. Any situation that's out of whack, it brings it back into balance, back into order, back into a state of harmony, into a state of alignment. Again, the two cups still standing, two is a number of alignment. Balance, harmony. So the message here is that everything is going to work out and turn out the way that it should for 
the high success of a situation. It may be also with the justice energy because it can speak of legal matters and contracts. Again, if it's not a relationship situation that's being dealt with and worrying about if it's going to work out successfully when all is said and done, then for some of you with the four of wands, because the four of wands can speak of a home, maybe the conflict itself has to do with a house situation, maybe the selling of a house, the purchasing of a home or something like that. And the five of cups is giving me the vibe that maybe there's a conflict or a struggle with that, that someone is facing at this time. But again, the Four of Wands indicates a success, an achievement, a positive outcome. And something also to celebrate when this gets resolved. So again, Spirit just wants you to know that this will get resolved. It will work out. Even though with the Five of Cups, it may feel like there's so much out of your control. And I apologize again for the glare on the cards. These are very glossy. Um, it will get resolved. It will work out. You will have something. A peaceful, happy, balanced resolution to anything that you're experiencing right now that may really seem like out of your control. Okay. Uh, the Justice card is telling me to tell you to have a little faith and trust that Spirit is working this out in your favor in a positive way. Okay. So I want uh, just a few cards here. Wow, that's a lot, but we'll see. Oh, okay. There's four and four. Wow, I wasn't <laughs> expecting to grab that many, but let's see what we have here. Oh, okay. So the resistance, right? That would be that five of cups energy. Because sometimes, you know, we feel emotionally conflicted, right? Because it's a cup's card. And whenever we go against, right, look at the salmon. We go against the grain, right? Or we, we feel like we're swimming upstream sometimes in a situation. But Spirit is saying here that even though right now the scenario or that conflict that I was feeling before I did this reading, um, that conflicting energy or that resistance, right? There you go. There's confirmation of the, the conflict uh, with the resistance card. But... You will persevere in this scenario. It does feel like right now you're swimming upstream, maybe emotionally, mentally, spiritually through this scenario as things are kind of undecided or left up in the air, maybe not finding a full resolution to any situation, right? You will have a successful conclusion to this because at the end of the day, you, you are going to persevere. Air energy, that does align very much with the justice energy because the justice does represent Libra. Um... This card is telling me that it's more mind over matter and it's about where you you're putting your energy right now. So again, I was feeling with the five of cups, we not to like put your energy into what's not working. In other words, to focus on positive things instead, po focus on the things that you can kind of do right now for the moment, like shift your mental energy in that direction, shift your focus with the air, right? Energy into what is working right now, focus on the blessings. Uh, at this time in order to keep yourself balanced while this is working itself out. Again, the main thing that Spirit wants you to know is that this is going to work out for you. It's all going to end successfully in a positive way. The outcome will be happy, positive, successful, balanced. In your best interest and benefit, it will be safe. And successful. There is some form of growth that comes from this experience though. So this is not in vain, right? If you're experiencing something, if you feel held up with something, if you feel like, you know, there's a feeling that I'm picking up of needing to trust, okay? Needing to trust. And 
when you can trust yourself, you also trust spirit. You honor yourself, you also honor spirit, and there is growth in that. So if you can trust spirit and yourself through the process of this, you will have learned a very, very valuable lesson that will assist you moving forward in your journey and in your growth. Um, because as we learn to trust ourselves, as we align with that inner being and, you know, the inner being that's always in alignment with spirit, as we, we take baby steps in trust, it becomes easier and easier and easier to release the resistance and flow, okay, flow instead of go against, going against the grain. Because sometimes going against the grain does create resistance within oneself emotionally spiritually mentally and physically we're, we're not salmon are salmon for a reason their purpose is to flow or to swim upstream go against the current to fulfill their purpose their purpose is to spawn and mate but we're not salmon <laughs> like we're meant to just flow with the currents of life and flow is floating in a state of trust and that's the message here float with me flow with me operate from a state of trust don't give your energy to things that aren't working right now because that just robs you of your flow state you will persevere spirit has your back it will turn out in your favor. It's going to be okay. And if you can trust me through this, is what the feeling is here. If you could trust spirit, right? Trust me, spirit, through this. It will get easier to trust yourself and spirit every time. So that way you can work your way around any resistance that you feel in any situation at any given time. Because you can learn to navigate your way around the resistance the minute you feel it, the minute you sense it. Because sometimes resistance can demonstrate itself physically, in your body even. We can learn to recognize it when we feel it, when it shows up. And we can choose, right, to move away from that resistance, to make the choice that leads us on the path of least resistance instead. Again, that does take trust. And there's growth that comes from it. Every time we, we hone that ability to navigate away from the resistance and go in the direction of our flow state instead. Okay, so let's see. Look at that, leave the past behind a dominating relationship for some of you with the five of cups it could be that that's what that is right intellectual matters yeah i mean air energy right it's all about the mind uh, and then i was feeling that like a little bit of a mind over matter situation and then we're here finding rest and relaxation right so rest the feeling is rest easy knowing that you're doing the right thing you're doing everything that you can for now you're making the right decisions that are in alignment with you to help you navigate away from the resistance you may feel in any given situation. If something is dominating you or if you feel controlled by something, situation, place, a scenario, a job, right? That can be anything that's dominating over you. And we don't want that, right? Like we want to always feel like we're doing what brings us alignment and happiness. That's, we want to operate from the alignment of our inner being. Um, anything that doesn't help us feel, doesn't make us feel aligned is creating a state of resistance because we're going against the current, we're going against the grain. And it does feel like life is controlling us rather than us having control over our life. And we have to leave that behind, right? In order to find our peace, in order to find our rest, in order to be in flow.
So it may, for some of you, be a decision that has to be made, right? So you can get out of a situation or feeling of this resistance and find your peace of mind. But again, there's growth that comes from it. Let's see if we can get a final oracle card on this. And I will close out this reading for whoever it was that needed to hear this. Um, I, I feel like I want to say to you, you got this right you will make the right choice you you will direct your energy to the right things that will move you away from resistance because whenever you're feeling a state of resistance you are not in harmony with your higher self you're not in harmony with your your uh, god spark within okay that's anything that domin dominates over you right and brings you a state of resistance it's not in harmony with you and the whole point is to be in flow and in harmony with the God spark within um, and feel secure within yourself and confident within yourself to move forward with whatever your heart and your flow state tells you or dictates to you, right? On an on a intuitive and discerning level. So let's see if we get a final oracle card. This is the Priestess of Light, by the way. Um, this is the Witch's Tarot. Just anybody's wondering. Um, so let's see here. Uh, look at that. That's craziness. Do you see that? Hostilities, conflict, unrest. Well, we don't want conflict and unrest within ourselves. We want rest and relaxation, right? Uh, we want to be in flow. We want to release the resistance, which is the conflict, the unrest, and the hostilities, okay? That's what we want to get rid of. Um, and again, those things can represent themselves internally or in a scenario or in a situation where maybe we're not content, right? Because the Five of Cups is definitely not an energy that feels content. It feels challenged and um, in disharmony. And Spirit always wants us to be in harmony right always wants us to be in alignment but let's see what it says um the priestess in this card kneels to a panther with her arms raised to the moon drawing on the power of the light she holds in her hands the panther is growling baring its teeth in fierce protection warning any intruders to beware So it says, there may be a person or situation in your life that is abrasive or upsetting in some way. Or perhaps something coming in the near future might make you feel defensive. Either way, this card is telling you to gather your resources and turn to the guidance of your own divine light and courage, right? Your own inner being knows the answer always. And that's what we got to, that's what we have to listen to in order to be in a flow state and to navigate around any resistance that comes at us or that we feel within ourselves. But it says, become more conscious of the people or situations zapping your energy or your sense of power. Remember I was saying dominating relationship? Mm -hmm. That could be anything or anyone. Um, it says, there may be a family member, a co-worker, or a draining obligation that has taken a toll on you. Even if it has gone on for quite a while, it's finally time to choose to protect yourself and your own energy. This choice may come. This choice may cause others to be upset or even hostile because it doesn't, it doesn't, it makes them uncomfortable when you choose, right? With the justice card, you choose to honor yourself. Oftentimes it, it makes people uncomfortable because it goes against what they want of you or for you or whatnot, right? Um, you may be tempted to diffuse the conflict by giving in, but that old unhealthy pattern must be resisted. You don't have to give in to the habits of fear anymore. Right. Or anything that puts you out of alignment. Five of Cups. But it says don't. So don't shy away from conflict or unrest. Right. We are seeking not unrest, but we want rest and relaxation. We want to be at ease with ourselves and be able to put our head on the pillow at night and. Right. And, and just feel at peace. <laughs> um, with ourselves and also. Knowing that we were true to ourselves in the process. Right. That's important. Um, so you deserve to act on your own behalf, be brave in the face of confrontation and know that you are capable of seeing it through to the other side. Four of wands, right? Mm -hmm. Four of wands and the perseverance card. Yep. Yep. Definitely. You are capable. Um, 
let's see, you have the fierce determination, the perseverance, right? And strength of the panther within you and the light of divine assistance is always at hand. I am strong, it says affirmation, I am strong and resourceful in any situation. I believe in myself and in my ability to take charge. Yes, absolutely. And it's crazy that this card came up because even before I pulled cards, that's that's the feeling. I was feeling conflict, right? I mentioned that in the very, very beginning. So I love the confirmation here. And I'm glad that I, you know, listened uh, to spirit to bring forth this message for whoever needed to hear it. Okay. Um, I would say tr also trust yourself to do the right thing, to stand up for yourself, to say no, to navigate around any resistance you currently feel in any given situation at this time. Because it's going to level you up. It's going to show you you can trust yourself and help you to grow through the process of that, right? Again, like I said, when we trust ourselves and spirit, we navigate around resistance in our life, which then makes it easier to do every time. And we'll never operate, once we get to a point that we're honing this, we never operate, we'll never operate in a state of resistance again because we'll be able to acknowledge it, notice it, discern it, and see it right in the moment that this is causing resistance, conflict, dis-ease, right? And we'll be able to pinpoint it right there in the moment and say, oh, oh no, 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 I'm not doing that. Or mm, I don't, I'm rejecting that. I don't agree with that. I'm going to honor me. I'm going to trust myself. And in the process, trust God, creator, spirit, universe. So let's see, you know, I, I'm going to roll the dice for angel numbers just because um, and see what spirit brings forth. Because sometimes when I roll the dice for angel numbers, sometimes there could be an additional message that comes through, through the dice and the interpretation of the number once you do your own research. Um, or it could confirm some things I've already said, right? So maybe added confirmation of what was delivered in this reading. So let's see what angel numbers come up to help you with this. Um, again, before I, I get the number for you, consider researching the number for yourself. I don't give a number interpretation or direct you to a source to research the numbers because I want you to find your own magic. If I gave you a source, it could be one you don't like. And not only that, sometimes spirit will guide you to other things, serendipity, synchronicity, while you're taking the journey to research the numbers. And if I gave you a shortcut, I might rob you of that experience. And I know how important these nuggets of confirmation are. So I wouldn't want that to happen. Likewise, I always tell everybody not to put the number interpretation in the comment section for the same reason. We don't ever want to rob anybody of finding their own magic. Okay, so let's see what numbers come up for you. All right, so we have 12. Whoa, seven. And 11. So that's a long one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up the number for you. Okay, reduce it. Um, there's a couple numbers that we can look at. We can look at 1, 2, 7. And we can look at 7, 11. We can also look at the numbers individually, 12, 7, and 11. And we could also reduce it down to a single number. Uh, we don't reduce master numbers like 11, 22, and 33. Um, but I will do all that math for you in the screen here. Okay. So I will leave you here. Much love to whoever's watching this. Um, if you feel that this has helped in some way, if I delivered a message that you needed, again, Spirit wants you to know you will get through this. You will persevere. You will have success. You will achieve the outcome you desire. It all work out. Okay. So keep that in mind. It's all going to work out. Whatever you're concerned about, it will work out for you. Um, but if you feel that like this has helped in some way, let me know in the comment section down below. I don't, like I said, I don't know if this is going to be something that I do regularly. <laughs> um, but this is what I was led to do right now. So I'm, I'm just listening. Um, and if I'm ever prompted again, I will obviously follow through and deliver a reading, a random reading like this again. But leave me a comment in the comment section down below. If you want to support my channel, you know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Click the bell for notification. It's free. It doesn't cost anything, right? And if you want to take it a step further beyond that to support me beyond YouTube, check me out on Etsy. The link to my Etsy store is down below. I have really cool things there. I make a lot of handmade crystal jewelry, amongst other things. So have fun exploring my shop. Pay me a visit at any time. Much love to you wherever you are. Take care and always keep shining.